Hi, I'm Elizabeth and we are here at the Parrington Volunteer Ambulance Corps to learn a little bit about the EMT Explorer program. So let's check it out. So I'm here with Steve and Lindsay to learn about the EMT Explorer program. So can you tell me a little bit about it? Our explorers are aged uh, uh, 14 to 18. Uh, the Boy Scouts allow them to go to 21, but by then our uh, explorers have become EMTs generally or gone off to college. Uh, they have to be out of eighth grade, and so they usually stay the full four years. How do you become an explorer? There are many ways you can become an explorer. You can look it up online. There are also many pamphlets set out in the mail just to get it introduced as well. Schools, counselors pass them out as well. Do the explorers get to work on actual patients? Of course they do. They get to apply band-aids, they get to apply blood pressures, stethoscopes, listen to heartbeats, anything to do just to get them the experience out in the real world. What are the benefits of being an EMT explorer? Well, there are several. One is that there are uh, many jobs in the summertime for people, uh, paid services, and uh, as an EMT, you're the boss on the ambulance. So at the age of 18, you can become an EMT, and even though you might have a driver who's 50, you're the boss. There's also scholarships that are available, and some of them are very serious scholarships to four-year colleges, so that going to a private school may be less expensive than going to a state school for you. So how has your experience with the Explorer program been? My experience with the program has been awe-inspiring. It's inspired me to go into the medical field and apply to RIT to become a PA because it's just given me that edge that I feel like has raised me above everyone else, all my competitors in getting into college, and I feel like it's a great way for me to get a chance in the medical field. How did you get involved with being an EMT? Well, both my daughters. Uh, I decided that uh, we had an Explorer post and uh, the person wanted to retire, so I took over for him and both of my daughters have gone through the program and uh, my youngest is actually going on to get her physician's assistant and she also got a scholarship to a four-year school because of this. That's great. Yeah. So what are we going to do today? Today we're going to uh, have you backboarding a patient, carrying them, putting them on the gurney, putting them in the ambulance. So let's get started. What we're going to do to you today is we're going to put a collar on you to stabilize your neck. Most people who have fallen have hurt their neck, have hurt their head. Then we'll be lifting you up onto the gurney. You're going to hold her head stable, okay, so it doesn't go one way or the other. And you're going to put this under her neck and put it in position, okay? Now, we're going to roll you this way. You are the command officer in this position because you hold the head. As we roll her towards this side, you're going to roll with her, keeping her head straight in line with her body. Keep your hands on her head. We never let go of the head until she's strapped in. Okay, grab the head blocks right there, those white devices. Okay, now we strap the body first because the head is last to attach. All right, now you can let go with your hands. She's been immobilized, all right? Now we've got to lift her. and we'd leave for the hospital. Well, thank you so much for showing me around. I'll definitely look forward to this in the future. 